Who else feels that confident about their deck here this weekend? All right, well, it's a super cool deck. Thank you so much, Cedric, for talking with him, you showing it. it off. Uh, another super cool deck, I think, is Rakdos Breach, and I got the opportunity to talk to Reed Duke about it the other day. Hey everybody, I'm here with Reed Duke, a member of the Magic the Gathering Hall of Fame and your reigning Pro Tour champion. Reed, you going to run back a win this weekend? Uh, I, I don't know, but I guess that's what <laughs> I came here for. We'll, we'll have to see. You're running a really sweet deck, mm -hmm. Rakdos Breach. Why did you bring that for the tournament this weekend? Well, I think, um, you know, my teammates and I and, and probably a lot of competitors here sort of were unanimous about what the best cards and the best shell was for the format, which you can see probably a lot of familiar faces here, um, including Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Blood Tithe Harvester. So starting with that core is a great place to be. Um, but this particular take on Rakdos also gets to use some of the, my favorite new cards from uh, March of the Machine, um, including Chandra and Breach the Multiverse. Yeah, this deck is really, really cool. We've got Chandra pulled up right now. We've got a new card here. Tell me what her role in the deck is. Okay, well, Chandra just first of all is awesome. Like e even taking away like metagame considerations and matchups, like you can just read this card and be like, wow, that is really, really powerful. So I like that quality in a card. <laughs> um, but more specifically, Chandra um, pairs well with your cheap interactive cards. Think like Duress or Go for the Throat where you can just make mana and double, double those effects right away and then uh, pass the turn with a nice stable board position and a Planeswalker with seven sure. loyalty. But things get really exciting if you can untap with Chandra because then you get to play one of your big instants or sorceries and uh, double it, uh, which like normal Rakdos decks, you'll probably be familiar with Invoke Despair. That's pretty awesome if you can double that effect. And then some I'd of the say new stuff. I'd say you're underselling it here, Reed. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's potentially like a, a 12, 12 point life swing. Um, in case, you know, dealing five or seven damage with Chandra wasn't enough yeah. for you. So that's awesome. And then uh, Breach the Multiverse, I think is my favorite card from March of the Machine, which this is uh, sort of what I identified as the, the, or what we identified as the biggest thing that you could do in standard to go over the top in these mid-range mirrors, or if your opponent is trying to reanimate creatures, like you could use this to steal their Atraxa or their Atali, which is really cool. Um, so this pairs well with Chandra in the sense that if you get to double it, that's amazing. That's nasty. You can also just find Chandra <laughs> with with, uh, with yeah. Breach in addition to getting the best card out of your opponent's graveyard. Um, so this is awesome. And what I particularly like about this deck, as opposed to like a more traditional reanimator strategy, is it's just very simple. Like it's all about the one card. All you have to do is get to seven mana. You're not really sweating if they have graveyard hate or anything like that. Um, so just kind of. I appreciate the simplicity and consistency of the deck. I mean, seven mana is a lot. Do you mm -hmm. find yourself that that's a bit of a that's a bit of a, a hurdle for you to get over with this deck, or is it no big deal? It can be, and we have some some uh, cards to sort of grease the gears. Um, which Fable of the Mirror Breaker, if your Goblin Shaman gets to attack, you're already starting to make treasures. That's a great start. Uh, you have ways to prolong the game, but the real key to, to jumping ahead to that seven mana is a big score, which is. Um, I mean, I played this in my Pioneer deck at the last the last Pro Tour. Uh, so this is a very, very, very good card in an effective way um, to just turbo towards one of those six or seven mana cards. Also, notably, you can double this effect with Chandra, which is really, really fun. That's awesome. Uh, so what are you most hoping to hit with Breach the Multiverse in this deck? Um, so on our side, the single best hit is Itali Primal Conqueror. Yeah, this which, card is a house. Yeah, read. this card makes for some really exciting moments, but you get this, you get the, you know, a, a spell off of both players' deck in addition to just a huge creature. That's awesome. So when you combine that with, I'm also getting something from your graveyard, it can make for a really, really dramatic swing, even if you're like at, at death's door, you can turn the game around. Um, but one of the things that really makes Breach exciting for this tournament is I think there are going to be really powerful cards to hit from virtually all of my opponent's decks. So, you know, in a white deck, you can hit like a Planeswalker, a Big Angel against the Reanimator decks, you hit their Atraxa, um, even in a mid-range mirror, stuff like uh, Shouldred, old and new, uh, yes. Corpse Appraiser, like anything like that. You, you, you just, just the fact that you get two uh, of your choice of the best effect, it makes it so powerful. Yeah, this deck is so sweet, Reed. Thank you for bringing it this weekend, and hey, good luck again. Thank you. That's a look at Rakdos Breach with Reed Duke. Well, let's